Oh yeah. That boy got that damn skunk too. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Trey B. Dippin' in the building. You know what time it is. I'm gonna jump right into this one, man. I got some upgrades. I've been waiting to do this video. And uh, I'm gonna jump straight into it. I'm gonna show you what I got. Oh, yeah. That boy got that damn skunk, too. Got it bored out 74 millimeters to match the 74 millimeter throttle body. And uh, yeah. It's time to go fast, my guy. You're me. When you order the Skunk 2 manifold for our cars, for the for the uh, Prelude H22, um, it, it did come in a box and very nicely packaged, by the way. I will say that it um, made it safely. And no dents, no scratches, nothing like that. Um, so it comes with obviously the manifold itself. You can get it either in the uh, kind of wrinkled black um, finish, or you can get it in like that the traditional like kind of gray, um, you know, stock color. I decided to go with the black since I got a lot of black in my engine bay. Unfortunately, they did not send me the right throttle body um, in black. They sent it in silver, but um. I'll work with it for now. It's all good. So I got that. It comes with a bag um, with all the like necessary stuff, like the brackets for the throttle cable, um, extra vacuum hoses for everything, and uh, yeah, man. So time to get started on this thing, man. You're me. So, when you're taking off the intake manifold, there's a bunch of stuff that you're gonna have to take apart. Um, I mean, not in any particular order, but you wanna take a, uh, anything electrical. So, as far as the intake manifold is concerned, you're gonna un unplug your MAP sensor, throttle position sensor, your idle air control valve sensor. Um, you're gonna wanna unplug any vacuum lines, um, your fuel line, you're gonna unplug your fuel line. Uh, you're also going to unplug your uh, fuel injectors um, and then um, your throttle cable you're going to want to disconnect your throttle cable you're going to want to disconnect your your piping your uh, whether it's your stock intake or if you got a cold air intake you're going to want to disconnect that um, and I'm, I'm sure there's a few things I'm missing but basically you want to disconnect everything so that once you start uh, unscrewing the manifold that it comes out in one swoop like it's supposed to. Um, but I'll try to, you know, hopefully the video will help. And I'm gonna zoom in and hopefully you can see everything. So I got uh, all the bolts from underneath. I had to go underneath the car to get um, like four of the bolts. It was easier angle. Um, I used the ratchet um, with a 12 millimeter on it. 
And um, once you break once you break it loose, I just untighten it by hand. Now I already loosened up these ones up top, but I have to take the nuts off. And then uh, this, that boy should pop right off. So once you get uh, all the 12 millimeter bolts off the top and the bottom, um, depending on on the motor, sometimes there's a bracket that goes from the block to the bottom of the intake manifold. In order to get the manifold all the way out, you definitely gonna have to take that off. And it's just a 12 millimeter bolt from going from the bracket up through the bracket into the manifold, into the bottom of the manifold. So you might have to take that out to uh, take it off. If, it's, if you have a bracket, you definitely have to take it off. Then uh, you just got to separate the gasket from the block. I mean, separate the manifold from the block. Get a little kick or something. Mm. A little Bruce Lee. <laughs> and then uh, should be good to go, man. As long as you disconnected everything, it should lift right out. Kind of naked back there, player. So pretty much, uh, this is the sucky part. Now is uh, it's hit or miss. But um, what you first thing you're gonna want to do is now that you have the uh, intake holes exposed, you want to get something like a cloth or I think I'm actually gonna kind of use these gloves and kind of blow them up a little bit, stick them in the hole so that nothing flies in there, no bugs or nothing like that, no dust. Um, protect the holes and then I had to go around with the razor and uh, and carefully uh, remove the old gasket before I can put the new manifold on so that's the time-consuming part I'm gonna fast forward through that and then uh yeah we're gonna put that scum 2 on there you heard all right so basically what we have here is um, I have the old intake manifold taken off um, the most time consuming part about doing that is getting the, scraping the old manifold gasket off, uh, especially if it's never come off before. Um, then I had to take a few parts off this one, so I had to take the map sensor uh, and the throttle position sensor off, as well as I already took the, uh, the idle air control valve off, took that off. Um, that's already on here. So.
like this video, hit that thumbs up button, and uh, you see that right there? Click that right there, man. Hit that subscribe button. I got a lot more content and how to do on the way. The grand opening. I come through and start smoking shit. I'm creeping up while I'm a